Welcome back everyone to a session on Automata Theory and Computability. As a continuation of uh, previous videos, let us solve few more problems on constructing PDE for the given context free language. So here if I take this language L, it is made up of uh, W, uh, string W from the alphabet set AB and the definition of the language says A replicated n number of times, concatenated with B replicated 2 into n number of times, right, okay where n is greater than or equal to 0. So, this problem is having two constraints, one being all the a's should occur before b and the other one is if the number of a is n, then the number of b occurring should be twice that number, right. So, if I have 5 a's, then there should be 10 b's occurring in the string. Okay. So, this can be solved by having a uh, by using multiple approaches, but uh, let us uh, solve it by using one of the approach. Okay, so for that, uh, we, let us consider one example. If I take A, A followed by 4B, okay. So this is a valid string belonging to the language where I have 2B, 2 A's followed by 4B, right? Okay, so this will satisfy uh, the constraint given in the language as defined in the language. So, what can we do is for every A encountered, okay, for every A encountered, I will perform push operation that is I will push 2 A's onto the stack, okay. For every A, I will push 2 A onto the stack. And for the second A, so this will be the second A encountered, so I will get. Two more years are again popped onto the stack. Okay. Then for all the B encountered will perform a pop operation. So this will be the current content of the stack. Okay. So the topmost uh, A has been popped out. So this A is popped out. For the second B, will perform pop operation again. So, so we will end up having only two A's and for the third, AB, third B again will perform a pop operation and for the final B if I perform pop operation stack will be empty, right. Okay. So in this way, in this approach um, we can get an empty string at the empty stack at the end of encounter or after encountering all the symbols in the string, right. So, the idea is for every A, I will perform push operation, I will push two A's onto the stack and for every B encountered, I will perform a pop operation, okay. So, using this approach, let us solve the problem by building a PDA. So, to construct a PDA for this, uh, we have to consider the smallest string that is accepted by the definition of the language, okay. So, smallest string accepted by the language is epsilon, right. So, if n happens to be 0, because the condition says n is greater than or equal to 0. So, if I take n as 0, the number of a's will be equal to 0 and b will be equal to 0. So, this will be, this should be accepted, right. Epsilon will be, should be accepted. So, I will, as usual, I will start the state q0 okay, and I have to mark it as accepting because it accepts epsilon, okay. And on the right end, let me keep a uh, empty stack. Okay. So this is the stack. So if I get epsilon, stack uh, stack will remain empty, and I'll be I'll remain in an accepting state, right? So epsilon is totally accepted. Okay. Now, being in Q naught state, if I take this for example, A A C B. Okay. If I if I take this example, then for every occurrence of A. Initially in Q0 state, I will encounter A. So, for A, in the top of the string is epsilon. So, what we will do? We have to push 2 A's, right? So, this will be the content of the stack. 
for the first occurrence of each. For this k, this will be the content of the stack, right? Okay. And uh, I'll remain in Q naught. For the second a, again, I'll perform the same operation. That is, I'll put two a. Okay. Now, when I start encountering b, I have to go to, I have to make a transition to a new state by popping a from the top of the stack, right? And I'll go to Q1 state. So being in Q1, uh, what happens? You will, for the first occurrence of B, you will pop an A from the top of the stack. Right. For the first occurrence of B, A has been popped out. Now, I am in Q1 state. Now, when you encounter um, more B, okay, you have to perform the same operation. That is, you have to perform a pop operation. For the second B, encountered in Q1, I will pop an A out. So, this will be the content of the stack. A has been popped out. And for the third B, for the third B again, being in Q1 state, we will perform a pop operation. And finally, the last B, for the last B encountered, we will perform a pop operation remaining in Q1 state. Okay, so this will be the content of the stack uh, after encountering the string. Right? So what is the content? The stack is empty. Stack is empty. And where did we end up? We end up in, in Q1 state, which is marked as as a string. Right? So this is how the uh, approach is implemented by using a PDB. Okay, so this will this will accept all the valid string and all and it will reject all the invalid string according to the definition of the language. Let us write the tuples value for this particular problem. Now let us see the various tuple values. The K is nothing but the set of states consists of Q1 and Q Q0 and Q1. Uh, sigma the alphabet symbols A and G and tau the stack symbol element stack element that was used to perform push and pop operation was A. Right? Starting starting state is Q0. Set of accepting states A is equal to Q0 and Q1. And finally, transition. Okay. Uh, being in Q0 state, upon A, you don't perform any pop operation. You will remain in Q0 state by pushing to A. Right? And Q0 upon B, uh, pop A, pop a single A, go to Q1 and don't push anything. Similarly, being in Q1 state, upon encountering B, pop A from the top of the stack, remain in Q1 and don't push anything. So these are the tuple, tuples value for the uh, PDA solved. Right? We will consider one more problem. Now let us consider one more problem. So the language L is made up of string W from the alphabet set A, B, where the definition of the language says A replicated 2 into n number of times, concatenated with B, which is replicated n number of times, where n is greater than or equal to 0. So this problem is very much uh, similar to that of a previous problem, except here the number of A occurring in the string should be twice the number of B. So uh, we can we can solve this by making use of multiple approaches. Uh, let us uh, follow one of the approach in solving this. Okay. So I will take four A followed by two B. Okay. So this is a valid string where n value is two and two n happens to be four, which is the number of A's, and followed by concatenated with two B. Right. So what we can do, right? For every a occurring, every two A occurring, I'll perform a single push operation. Okay. And for every B, I'll perform a pop operation. So what will happen? For uh, four A's, the number of push operation what I'll be doing is two. And for each B, I'll be performing a pop operation. So the number of uh, push and pop operation at the end will be equal. Right? Okay. So what we have to do is, we have to uh, see if I have two A's, 
then I have to ignore the first one. Somehow I have to ignore the first one without performing any stack operation. And for the second A, I need to perform a push operation. Okay, and for the each occurrence of B, I need to perform pop operation. Okay. So using this approach, we can solve the problem. Okay, so yeah, uh, so if I consider the first A, the stack will remain empty. I will neither perform push nor pop. Okay, and for the second A, I will push A onto the stack. Again, when I get the third A, I will not perform any push operation. So the content of the stack will remain with the single A. And for the fourth A, I will perform a push operation. And for B encountered, I will perform a pop operation. So I am popping this A out. So I will have only A single A in my stack and for the last B I will pop that A out such that the stack will remain empty. Okay. So these are the two pop operation that is performed and yeah this is the igno ignored A and here I had performed push operation again I ignored and here I performed the push operation. So if I if I follow this approach, the number of push operation will be equal to two, and the number of pop operation will also be equal to two. So such that the stack will remain empty at the end of all the stack operation, right? So using this approach, we will solve the problem. We'll build a PDA. Now let's build a PDA for this language. So. Uh, so to start with, we'll consider the simplest thing that is accepted by the definition of the language. And the simplest language that is accepted, simplest thing that is accepted by the definition of the language is epsilon, right? So if I take n is equal to zero, the number of a's is zero and b will be zero, which satisfies the condition. And to incorporate this, what we need to do, we need to mark the starting state q naught as accepting, right? So we always start with the q naught starting state. And when you, if you encounter epsilon, uh, I'll remain in Q0, which is accepted. And I'll make use of the stack here on the right end of the screen. Okay, and the stack, no, uh, since no push operation uh, was performed on the stack, stack will remain empty. So epsilon will be accepted, right? Okay. Now, let me take a an example of a valid string apart from epsilon. So I'll take 4a followed by 2b. Okay. So as uh, previously discussed, what we will do is we will ignore 1a and perform push operation on that a. Okay. So for the first a encountered, I'll go to a state and let let me name as unit as q1. So being in q0 state, I'll go to q1. Okay, and I will not perform any push operation, nor I will perform any pop operation. Okay, and the way of writing a no stack operation is this way, right? So I am simply consuming one A without performing any stack operation. So for this first A, um, stack will remain empty, right? I did not perform any operation. And now we have ended up in Q1 state. Okay, now being in Q1 state, if I again encounter an A, this is the second A, always we will encounter the even number of A, even the number of A in Q1 state, right? Okay. So being in Q1 state, if I encounter A, I'll go back to Q0 by pushing A onto the stack. Okay. So this is, this is the operation what I'll perform. I'll perform a push operation on the second A. So this will be the content of the stack. So this will be the content of the stack after encountering 2a. Okay, now we ended up in q0 state. For the third a encountered, again we'll make a transition to q1 state by ignoring that a, right? Now being in q1 state, I'll encounter the fourth a, to which I'll perform the push operation. Okay, so a is pushed onto the stack and 
the transition is made back to q not fit okay so for the four a is encountered we have we have performed two push operation now uh, being in q not state when i encounter b i'll go to a state let me name it as q2 and i'll perform the pop operation so what am I pop popping? I am popping the top of the stack element which has to be A. Okay. So for the first B encountered, for this B, made a transition to Q2 state by popping near. Okay. Now we ended up in Q2 state. Upon further B, we have to perform a pop operation. So being in Q2 state, if I encounter more Bs, so this is for the second B, in our example, I'll perform a pop operation. What will happen? The content, the stack will now become empty. Okay. And this Q2 should be marked as accepting. Okay. Now, uh, after encountering this entire string, we have ended up in the PD ended up in Q2 state, which is an accepting accepting state, and the stack is empty, right? So this is a valid condition for a string to be accepted by the PD. So this string will be accepted. Now uh, let us write the tuples value for this particular PDA. Now let us see all the tuples value for this PDA. K is a set of states okay here we have q0 q1 and q2 then comes a sigma which is nothing but the set of alphabet symbols uh, used in the definition of the language and also appears as a part of the string then tau which is the stack symbol that is used in uh, the pda so here we made use of a to be pushed when for every two a's and a is popped out when for the occurrence of b right the stack symbol is used and F is nothing but the starting state which happens to be Q0. A is the set of accepting state which is Q0 and Q2. And finally, this the transition delta Q0 upon A, Q0 upon A. Uh, I will not perform any pop operation. I will make a transition to Q1 and I do not perform a push operation. So this is, this is how I ignore the first A, right? And Q0 upon B, uh, a is popped out from the stack and transition is made to Q2 state by not pushing anything. Similarly, Q1 upon A, nothing is pushed, transition uh, happens back to Q0 state by pushing A, right? And finally, Q2 upon B make a transition to itself by popping A out and no push operation is performed. So this is the approach what we make use in solving this particular problem. Okay, we have two n, two n. Okay, the other question would be, is it, um, is it equivalent if I had pushed the first A onto the stack and ignored the second? Yes, even that approach is perfectly fine, right? So the basic idea is to ignore one of the A's and the, uh, the other among the two A's one A should be ignored and the other should be pushed onto the stack. Okay. Here we have ignored the first A and pushed the second A onto the stack. But it can be the other way around. Okay. So even that is perfectly fine. Okay. So in the next session, we'll solve few more problems on PDA. I'll see you in the next one.